Hey everyone and welcome back to Laravel 11 series. I am Umesh Rana and you are watching Programming Fields. Today we are diving into a very important aspect of any Laravel application that is sending emails. Whether it is for user registration confirmation, order notification, password resets or other communications. Emails are a vital tool for keeping your user informed and engaged. In our Laravel 11 series, we already saw how we can configure Gmail SMTP to send emails effectively. But today in this video, we will see how you can configure and use MailTrap to send email in Laravel 11. Why it is important to send emails in Laravel? You will have the question in your mind, right? The answer is very simple. In today's digital world, effective communication is the key. So sending emails allow you to connect with your user directly and keep them updated on your application. From acknowledging their registration to notifying them about order updates or password resets, emails play a vital role in user experience. By default, Laravel provides a mail driver that sends email to your local mail server. However, this setup might not be ideal for development or production server. So here is where MailTrap comes in. MailTrap is a fantastic alternative for sending emails in Laravel application. It offers several advantages such as it is secure and reliable. So basically MailTrap ensures your emails are sent securely and reliably. And also it is easy to testing and debugging. Unlike relying on your local mail server, MailTrap provides a user friendly web interface where you can view all your sent emails and this allows for easy testing and debugging. You can manage your inbox inside MailTrap. So you can see and manage all your sent emails directly within MailTrap's inbox. Now no need to worry about missing important notifications. So let's get started with MailTrap configuration and setting up the environment to send emails in Laravel 11. So I have navigated to the VS Code editor and I already have created one brand new Laravel 11 application. So in order to get started with MailTrap, head over to the official website of the MailTrap. So head over to the browser, search for MailTrap.io. So this is the official website of the MailTrap. And we have this login sign up option. If you don't have any MailTrap account, then firstly you will have to sign up it. So here you can create a free account. You can sign up with your Google account, GitHub account or Office 365. Or if you have any other email address, then you can sign up through email address as well. I already have one MailTrap account. So I will just log in that account. So I have logged in this MailTrap account through Gmail. So once you signed up, you will be greeted by a clean and intuitive web interface. Here you will find your SMTP details which we will need later. So under this home section, we have this email testing and email sending. If you want to use MailTrap for sending email for the testing purpose, then you can just click on this start testing. But if you want to use this on production server, then you can just click on this start sending. All right. So as of now, I'm on the local system and uh, I will be using MailTrap for sending email for the testing purpose only. So I will click on this start testing. And here it opened this inbox. And inside this, we have this integration email address. So under this integration section, it generated the curl script by default. All right, but here we will be going through the SMTP credential. So under this show credential section, let's click on this and here it generated this SMTP credentials for you. So let's copy this host, come back to the application and under this dot env file, under this mail section, we have to change this mail host with sandbox dot SMTP dot mail trap dot IO. Now let's come back to the documentation and let's copy this port i'm using this mail port as 587 so this 587 refers for the mail encryption tls if we will use ssl then we will have to use this 465 or 25 now let's copy this username paste it and same thing for this password let's paste it all right and uh, this mail from address i will add admin at the rate programming fields.com yes this is done and also we will have to change this mail mailer to SMTP. So let's add this SMTP here. This is done. And here we can reset this credentials after using this. 
and once you're done with your configuration let's come back to the application again and let's switch back to the terminal and firstly we will create a mail class so i will type php artisan make mail and here i will create one email class as send welcome mail let's hit enter and it generated mailable class now let's head over to the application and inside this app mail we have this welcome mail class now in order to send this email either we can use route or we can create any controller so better i will create one controller so i will type php artisan make colon controller mail controller okay so we have this controller inside this so inside this controller let's create one function as send email okay I will wrap this in a try catch block first and I will log this exception unable to send email I will append this message okay and inside this try block we will have to write the email functionality so I will define one variable as two email address okay here I will specify my other email address okay and also I will specify the welcome message so I will type welcome message as hey welcome to programming fields this is email configuration all right so I have specified the two email address and welcome message so now in order to send email we will have to call mail facade colon colon two function and firstly we will have to import this mail facade so I will write huge illuminate support facade and mail all right inside this mail to function we will have to pass this two email address to whom we want to send email and thereafter i will call this send function inside the send function we will have to specify our mailable class so we have created this send welcome mail so let's import it here okay and if we want to pass any dynamic parameter from this controller to this mail class then we can pass that here so let's pass welcome message just like this now let's come back to this mail class and here we will have to receive that parameter inside this constructor so let's define one variable as welcome message and let's specify one public variable here so i will define public dollar welcome message and inside this constructor i will assign this welcome message to this public dollar welcome message so let's do that so i will write dollar this welcome message equals dollar welcome message okay and we have this envelope function so inside this envelope we have this subject by default as send welcome email in laravel 11 using mail trap all right so i have defined this subject as well in the last video of the laravel gmail configuration we saw how we can pass this dynamic along with the attachment as well and also how we can attach any attachment in the email all right so you can refer to that if you need any help to pass any attachment with the email okay so this is done and inside this content we have to specify the view or email template on which we will render this content all right so inside this resources views we will create an email template so i will generate one view using terminal itself so i will type php artisan make call and view welcome email all right so here it generated a view inside this views folder as welcome email dot blade file so inside this resources views we have this welcome email all right so let's generate a basic skeleton of html5 let's remove these all things here i will pass title as send welcome mail in laravel 11 using mail trap okay and inside this body tag we will specify one message as hi there and here we have to print the message so i will call this welcome message variable just like this all right and we will have to close this p tag and lastly i will add this thank you regards 
program and false okay this is done now let's come back to the mail class and here we will have to pass that view name so we will pass welcome email this is done currently we are not passing any attachment so this will be empty now let's come back to the mail controller and uh, here let's capture this response in one variable as dollar response and let's dump and die this okay now let's copy this function name let's search for web.php file and inside this let's create one route colon colon get and define one endpoint name as send email and inside this we will have to call this mail controller class all right and I specify the function name so we already copied that let's paste it here and let's import this controller so i will type use app http controllers mail controller this is done now let's try to access this route so let's start the application first so let's copy this url endpoint let's come back to the browser let's access localhost 8000 send email so yes we can see we have received this success message as message id that means this email has been sent all right now we can track that sent email in the mail trap dashboard itself so if we will switch to mail trap dashboard then we can see we have this welcome email we have received this in the mailbox all right so we have successfully implemented this mail trap in laravel 11 for sending emails here you can track the total sent emails so mail trap provides free limit of 100 emails all right here you can click on this my inbox also you can reset the credentials similarly if you want to deploy this application on production then you will have to use this live server credentials so this will be your real smtp server so if you will click on this start sending you will have to choose this demo domain or on domain if you have your own domain then you can verify that and this will be triggering email through that live domain server also you can attach any attachment in the mail trap as we saw through the gmail by integrating mail trap with your laravel application you gain a secure and reliable way to send emails so this ensures your users receive important notifications and message effectively remember to test your application thoroughly before deploying it to production so that's it for the today's lesson. If you found this video helpful, consider subscribing for more Laravel tutorials and tips like this. Also, leave a comment below if you have any questions and let me know what other Laravel topics you would like to see covered in the future videos. So thanks for watching. Until next time, happy coding.